Today's video is brought to you by Ewin Racing, the best source for gaming chairs and desks for those long gaming sessions. We have a playlist of our Ewin chair and desk videos linked in the video description below. Save 30% off of everything using the discount code TECHDEALS. More details at the end of the video. Pixel comes in with a question that perhaps tech enthusiasts and tech reviewers don't cover often enough, perhaps assuming that, quote, everybody knows this, yet plenty of people don't, clearly as indicated by the question. He has 32 gigs of RAM at 3600 megahertz. His motherboard supports up to 5000 megahertz, but his 10900K only supports a DDR4-2933. Is my CPU a bottleneck in memory speeds? Now here's the interesting part of this. You are correct in the sense that the official maximum memory speed that Intel guarantees everything will be perfectly hunky-dory is 2933 on your 10900K. Here's the thing. There is something called XMP or Extreme Memory Profile which is an Intel technology, Correct. which allows memory to run outside of JDEC speeds. There are standard industry approved speeds for various memory kits and various other computer parts, one of which is DDR4 memory. Now, initially it was DDR4 2133, and then 2400 got approved, and 2666, and 2933, and actually now there is JDEC 3200 memory that exists. Correct. The timings, the CL ratings, CAS and RAS, row refresh rate ratings are much looser on JDEC and they are typically used in servers and mission critical systems. They are designed to be above all else, bulletproof reliable. They are um, not susceptible to very much uh, electromagnetic interference, gamma ray interference, cosmic rays. They're designed to be ultra super stable even in large memory installations with huge amounts of memory installed for specialized applications. Most RAM will run well beyond or well faster than the JDEC specs, and especially in gamer configurations where you're just playing a game, having perfect memory is not necessarily the most important thing. Windows can correct for it, the CPU can correct for some of it, and sometimes single bit errors don't actually matter. Depends on what you're doing, of course. So you can run your memory faster. You have DDR4 3600. That is XMP or Extreme Memory Profile Memory. You can go into your motherboard BIOS and you enable the XMP profile and the XMP profile reads the SPD or Serial Presence Detect chip that is on your memory and it contains speed, cast rating, and other sub-timings. DDR4 memory actually has like 40 something sub-timings that are, yeah. you'll see like uh, DDR4, 3600, CL18, 18, 18, 18, 39, for example. Those are just some of the timings. There's actually more sub-timings underneath there. Turning on the XMP profile tells the motherboard, read the chip on the memory module, and then automatically apply all of the timings because before XMP existed, you either had to do all this manually or you had to guess or you had to look it up on a table or a piece of paper and type in a bunch of numbers. Wow. And that was a bunch of nonsense. <laughs> so this is a really nice technology to have. No kidding. If you are running beyond 2933, you are outside of spec, same as overclocking. Intel doesn't guarantee that your chip will do that. Technically, if you were to call up Intel and say, my i9-10900K is defective because I turned on my 3600 megahertz memory and turned on XMP in the BIOS and my system blue screened, give me another chip. And they would say, have you set it to 2933? Well, no, I own 3600 memory. We only support up to 2933. If it runs faster, good for you. But if it runs at 2933, the chip works. That's why that's there. They won't warranty it to run faster. And some chips will run faster and some chips won't. In practical terms, I think you would have a hard time finding an i9-10900K today that would not have any problem running 3600 megahertz memory. Won't run 5000 though, will it? Some would, some won't. I've had trouble, I've got some, some mid 4000 range kits, 4266 and the like kits, 
which are a bit fussy. You start to get closer to that 5,000 range and it gets real picky real fast. But 3,600, I, I, I would love to hear from somebody who says, yeah, I have a modern i9 and my 3,600 doesn't run. That strikes me as an unlikely condition. The further up you go, the less likely it is to work. So that's, so it's true, but that's not what those memory support numbers mean. And that's all I have to say about that. So set, turn XMP on and enjoy your computer is the answer. Ewin Racing has a wide selection of chairs to fit all shapes and sizes of gamers, ranging from petite to cuddly, they have something for every type of gamer. Not just sizes, but colors and material options as well, including red, blue, purple, pink, orange, and more, plus cloth and leather choices. We have over half a dozen chair and desk videos in a playlist down in the video description below. We also have a very special offer just for Tech Deals viewers. Save 30% off of everything using discount code tech deals using our link in the video description. We have used Ewin gaming chairs for three years in our office, sitting on them for up to eight hour marathon live streams. They are very comfortable and we are happy to work with Ewin to bring you this special discount and recommend Ewin for all of your gaming chair and desk needs.